Hi, welcome to another tutorial by samwing.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the pen tool. So to start, uh, you can use either the keyboard shortcut P or come to the man, um, the icon where it says pen tool. So there are two different ways to make a pen um, path. The first one is shape layer and the path. So let's try the shape layer first. Um, let's click, click on our first point, hold your mouse, and drag it out. You'll notice that there is this um, handle. This handle controls the curvature of your um, path. So click on your second point, hold it, and drag it out. And you'll notice that you, you can you can control the curve with this handle, with the second handle. And then let's click on it again. And again. But you'll notice we need a sharper edge, a sharper corner here. So in order to make a sharp corner, hold the Alt and Command, Alt or Command button, or Alt or Option button. And you'll see that your mouse turns into a triangle when it's pointing right at that um, candle so let's move it around and move this one around see now you have a sharp corner too and then so keep going if you accidentally make your uh, point too far or in the wrong position hold the control Com or the command uh, key and you'll see your um, mouse turned into an arrow now you can move it around like this so move it back to the right position you can also add points if you need by just simply clicking on any of anywhere on the path when you put your mouse over the path you'll see there there's a plus button next to the um, pen icon so click on it and now you have an extra point and I'm gonna hold control option to move it to the right position or if you don't want that point you decided not to um, keep that point or any of the point just uh, um, point your mouse right at the anchor point and you'll see there's an extra minus but uh, sign next to the pen button so now when you click on it, it dis that anchor point disappears. And when you are done, you can just click on the original spot. And now you have a shape layer. You can control the opacity, double click the icon to change the color, or hide it to, and then you, if you want to turn that into a selection, just hold the control command button while selecting the um, sh the layer. So now it becomes a selection. I'm going to copy and paste that so you can see better. Now let's to, uh, do the second method, which uh, which is the uh, which uh, the second method, which is the um, half so if you let's start drawing again you'll notice that nothing happens here there's no th there's no new layer that's been created as we're doing this so let me finish so in, in order for you to manipulate this or make a use out of it you need to go to the path palette and you'll see there's a work path. That's the path that you just made. So mm -hmm. click Control or Command and then select that, and that becomes a selection. There are also some menus that you can op options you can use. If you select it, um, you can fill path, fill it with color, or create um, stroke around it 
make selection, which is what we already did. And then let's go back. The good thing about this path is when you save this file as a JPEG, it will be s this path will come come with a JPEG so that if you import it to a different uh, computer, that path will still be there. So that is it for now. Um, if you want to see a more detailed description of the pen tool, please go to my website at www.sanwang.com. Thank you.